My medal. Stick it a year and they give you a bloody medal. <laughs> Christmas is a bit salty, we've got Lambert with punishment detail. Temporary leave from Hammerfell, rest and refit. But Ain has got a scent here for drunkenness. We went down the market district after drinking some of that old special brew Tessio keeps under the table. Ended up in a fight with some sweets, you know, civilians. Luckily, we only got given menial tasks due to them bolstering the guard in the prison district. They're shit in their pants. Someone's got them rattled. Don't worry, sir. Anus and I consider ourselves veterans. Yeah, we're the real legion, not this jumped-up new lot. Here we are, sir. We bid you farewell. It was an honor. They won't win. I have broken through these chains laid upon me. I will make them see that they cannot break me. I will not let you control my life any more. These scars are my pride that you made me bore. Through your hate I found my fate. Cast a thousand sins as you harm my skin. I will not break for you, and you will get your due. For I am no longer alone. I feel it to my very bone. My guardian is the only one who can make or break me. This is not the last you will see of me. No longer will I hide. I have the dragon by my side. Talos guide my strength to seek my retribution. I will be the one to deliver your execution. Huh? What do you need? Ah, how is our noble guardian this fine morning? Sir Free volunteered to go. I'm far too old and decrepit, but Rigmore needs me. Sir Free also asked me to pass on Azura's blessings. I'm here to defend Rigmore. The trial will begin soon. However, the Lord Chancellor has requested we meet in the Temple Garden. Good if you're discussing state affairs and freedom of information, in this case preparation for the trial, 
bad if the information you tell him is detrimental to the emperor's continued reign. So, watch what you say. Well, ma they won't let us see her. Not until after the trial. Come, let's get the ball rolling, shall we? Well met, Lord Chancellor. Court Advisor Malisan. Guardian. Gentlemen, please, let us walk. As you probably know, or don't know, the Emperor's coronation has been postponed to make way for the trial. It will begin shortly, where charges will be read out and the prosecution will make its case. Sitting on the jury will be the six houses of Cyrodiil, a prerequisite as the defendant is of noble status. All the parties have been advised, but one thing you can be assured of, it will be fair. It's the law. I will be presiding over the proceedings and will advise the Emperor, who has the last say. 
Court Advisor Malasam will plead the case for the defense. Morag Cetheus will be prosecuting on behalf of the Emperor. I know what you're thinking, Dragonborn. I advise you to refrain from saying it. The Count will hear statements from the prosecution and defense. Then the defendant, Rigmore, will be questioned. The court will deliberate, then finally Rigmore will have a chance to make a statement. She might want to have her say, or make a confession, or say nothing at all. She's not too good. I am afraid I am not at liberty to discuss. A poppycock, Blackwell, and you know it. We need to prepare him for the worst. She was interrogated by the prosecutor. It's standard procedure. We do not allow torture. They took her into a cell, and she was made to sit. Then her hair was shorn, and she began to cry. It's standard procedure to humiliate the accused, to break down any self-respect, or any scrap of dignity they might have left. It's nothing personal. You must try to compose yourself. Guardian, Rigmore is a tough girl. Be thankful it's illegal to use traditional uh, interrogation methods. It really doesn't bear thinking about, trust me. No, something strange happened. The prosecutor stood behind her and tore her dress asunder, exposing her back. And just stood there, staring at the scars for what seemed... an eternity. And all that could be heard was the soft... gentle sobbing. And then she just left. She stormed out as quickly as she had arrived. I tried to console the Countess and had her placed in a comfortable, secure room. And she was given prison attire to protect her modesty. The Guardian, she needs you to be strong. If she is found guilty and exiled, we will worry about that when the time comes. When the trial starts, you must keep control of yourself, especially when Rigmore enters the room. To not do so will end in dire consequences. The Countess will be flanked by four guards. Any attempt to subvert the proceedings with violence will result in her death with immediate effect. Do I make myself clear? Just to let you know, there are six jury members. The charge is for treason. If their verdict is for or against, she will be acquitted. If they fail to reach a verdict, she will be acquitted. If it's hung, I get the final say on the evidence provided. With no evidence or credible testimonies, I will advise the Emperor to acquit the Countess. But know this. If there is evidence, I will pursue a guilty verdict. Thank you, Lord Chancellor. You have been most helpful. Excuse me. I must prepare for the task at hand. I am so blessed by the gods to once again be in the presence of the mighty Dragonborn. Are these your friends? I'm so excited. Ooh, I think I might faint. Oh, oh. Hey, watch it. Yes. I say, my good man, it's good to meet you, but we have important business to discuss. I have followed the Dragonborn for as long as I can remember. I have the biggest collection of news clippings of his adventures. Who are you? You're pretty. Oh, 
My cheeks are glowing. Get away from me, you freak! I see. You must be such an adoring fan to follow the mighty Dragonborn. Where's the Countess Rigmore? Do you know her too, Mr. Kind Old Man? She's related to the Emperor Titus Mead I. Isn't that wonderful? Can I help you? know that. He might not have heard. Pretty much everyone would have heard that. Thank you, Keris. Guardian. We still have everything to play for. Ah. I think it will help her. It's time for Rigmore to come home, to stop running around. No more looking over her shoulder, and I intend to put this whole thing behind her. For good or ill, whether she's found guilty or acquitted, it's time to put this whole thing to bed once and for all. There's an island located in the Sea of Ghosts. There used to be an abandoned fort on Northern Tip. Cepheus turned it into a prison. All exiles are sent there. Noble hostages, political activists, religious extremists, Daedric devotees. <coughs> if Rigmore is exiled, I'll need to return to Bruma immediately. Carice will accompany Rigmore in exile as her lady-in-waiting. Make your way to Dawnstar. There's a trade route with a small fishing village on the south of the island. Any of the fishing boats will know the area and take you straight to the prison jetty for the right price. Get in, find the girls, and get out. It's time. Shall we proceed? Thank you. 